Hello everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. I am Marshall3498 and today's uh, motovlog topic, what I'd like to talk about is something motorcycle related of course, and that is how to take off on a hill on a motorcycle. Now for maybe some new riders, especially have never driven um, a standard uh, automobile, this might be a little tricky. Um, I myself, I grew up um, driving five speeds, so other than maybe adapting the motorcycle balance to it, it's really the same principle. So, I'd like to share with you all the way I do it. I'm not an instructor. I'm not a professional. This is just my view and my way of doing this. So take it with a grain of salt. Maybe help somebody or maybe it'll make them try it on their own. Whatever. So, uh, the way I do it is, is you can do it one of two ways. You can either use the rear brake to hold the bike on the hill while you're stopped at the red light or stop sign or whatever it is. You can use, like I said, you can use the rear brake or you can use the front brake or you can use both. Um, I myself, I usually just use the front because, um, not that my bike's really that heavy, but I just feel, feel I have better control of the bike with both feet on the ground. Uh, the disadvantages I think to using the rear brake is, is what happens when you use rear brake. You don't have one foot on the ground and if the road's a little uneven or uh, you happen to barely let off that brake just a little bit. Um, if it's a real steep hill, you know, uh, the bike's going to start to roll back, and you don't have much, much control, I think, over the bike if it starts to roll back, especially with one foot down. If you have two feet down, if it rolls back a little bit, uh, you just, especially if you have like riding boots on or something, uh, you can just kind of rot back on your heels if your bike's not very heavy, and if you're by yourself, and stop some of that. Um, but I'm going to show you in this parking lot, and there's a little hill just right up the road here. Um, hopefully that red light catches me. Even though it's not a big hill, it's still a way to use that technique. So, uh, first of all, obviously you want to stop in gear. Um, but if you use, like I said, I'm going to show you all my way. You can do it with the rear brake or the front brake. Uh, it's sort of up to you. So, if by using the front brake to do that, what you want to do is, is you... For those of you who've ridden your bike a lot, you know exactly where the uh, friction zone is. And if you're kind of unsure, if you're a new rider, you can listen to the motor. When the motor RPM like that starts to drop and the bike starts to roll, if you hold that right there, like I'm holding that right now with my clutch hand, if you hold it right there where it first starts to pull but it's not going anywhere, um, most motorcycles have a wet clutch uh, multi-plate system, which is uh, obvious always an oil and that keeps uh, wear down and keeps to help it cool keep it cool I mean if you do it that way um, it's it's not any harder on the clutch and is an MS of course with holding it and stop and go traffic it's it's the same thing uh, what's hard on a clutch on a motorcycle is really slipping it you know uh, drag racing scenarios and a lot of track day stuff to try to keep the front end down that's my opinion so um, now that we've covered that like I said uh, if you hold it at that that right there where the bike starts to just barely pull enough to keep it from rolling if you just hold the brake right there the bike turns i mean the light turns just take uh just do hold on let me do it again um just right there where it is now i'm holding the front brake and then the bike's just kind of oh you know the motor's uh idle dropping a little bit just let off that brake and you're already rolling so um get out of this parking lot here and i'll go show you right up here it's not far just up the road here thought I'd, that's, that's a good tip. Uh, I think that everybody needs to learn how to use. Uh, when you're riding double, uh, that I have a few times, it's a little bit harder to do because the bike's heavier. So low speed stuff's a little harder to, uh, to get used to, but it's not anything uh, hard. It's just, it's a little extra weight to try to help balance at slow speed. That's all. Riding double is not really that hard either. Uh, I might do a video on that at one point just to kind of explain all the differences. Uh, okay, so this light's going to catch us, although this doesn't, like I said, this doesn't look like a very much heel at all on camera, because the way the GoPro does the fisheye thing and sees farther out, not as far as out as I do. It is enough a heel to do that, because like right now, I'm letting off the brake, see, and the bike's rolling. So we're going to get to the friction zone right here, and just hold it with the brake. When this truck comes through, or stops, or we get a green first, we can just take off and go. No big deal. Uh, it's not real hard, but it does take some practice. Um, I suggest if you're a new rider and I haven't rode a whole lot, 
you might want to try that procedure like I did in that parking lot and just get familiar uh, with your bike and the uh, friction zone more what it is and uh, how much it really takes to have it engaged without killing it because if you kill it on a hill it's not a big deal you just start the bike back up but a lot of new riders panic and they think oh god the car can hide me it's gonna run over me if they run over you it's their fault um, hopefully you don't get hurt but um, most car drivers aren't as bad as everybody thinks um, especially when they're stopped then they have to pay attention it's they're bad when they're moving and they're not paying attention on the cell phone so um, sorry to get off on a rant there but I just thought I'd do a quick little moto vlog maybe a how-to video on how to show uh, some people what to do and what not to do so that's about all I got for this little short vlog guys uh, if you like this uh, comment and uh, let me a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so and give me a share too it'll really help my channel out quite a bit try to get to 100 subs as of filming this uh, getting pretty close but not quite there yet so um, that's about all I got for today like I said uh, if you like my channel I've got tons of other stuff on my channel um, first rides uh, gear review that I currently own and thoroughly tested some of my moto vlog setup equipment uh, that I've done review on some scenic places that I've been to in my area and some like this video some more how-to stuff for uh, not only beginners but seasoned riders as well maybe it'll help everybody a little bit so but uh, on that have fun ride safe we'll see you on the next one see you